Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to another plant haul. So here's the thing, I wasn't going to do any more plant hauls because I thought you guys were sick of them, I thought you guys didn't want to see them, but I cannot put a picture of anything on Instagram with you guys going, what is that? Where did that come from? Where have you acquired that? It's like you can smell that I've been out to get plants. So I spoke to a few guys very briefly on Instagram and you guys said, no, 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 haul your new plants. We need to know, we need to understand, we need to be involved. I have, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six new plants. There is technically seven, but one is next door and I've already sat down to film and I've totally forgotten to get it, but never mind. So I may have six new plants. I don't think for the first time ever, I don't think any of these plants are rare. Maybe one is, but generally speaking, they're not. There's actually a lot of different things than what I would maybe normally pick up in here. And I think the most part of this plant hall are actually hanging plants. Now, that's a slight problem for me because I don't actually have anywhere to hang these plants. So, bit of a problem, but I couldn't really help myself. So without further ado, I will go into each plant. I'm gonna start with the one that's right here in front of me because I wanted this for a little while. This was on my wish list and I'm so happy to have it. And that is the Hoya Carnosa tricolor. So I picked this up on my recent trip to Holland. I knew they would have Hoya Carnosa tricolor, you know, in the places that I was going. It's a super common house plant, at least, you know, where I'm from. So I knew I'd have no problem picking it up. And I finally went and picked it up. And can we just take a moment to acknowledge how absolutely perfect this Ikea pot actually is for this plant? Just literally, oh, I can see it in the frame and it looks so good. So congratulations to me. There is my first Hoya. So I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't watered it yet. I'm assuming that's pretty normal for a Hoya. I don't know. I don't know where it blooms from. I guess these are where the blooms from. I know nothing, nothing about Hoya. So this is going to be very fun. But yes, this is my Hoya Carnosa tricolor. Right, should we do another hanging plant since most of them are hanging plants? The next hanging plant that I picked up from my time and my travels in Holland was the Philodendron Mykens. Finally, I got it. It's gorgeous. It's not maybe, you know, the biggest specimen and it's not really the smallest specimen. I don't know. Rate right in the comments, tell me if that's a large plant in terms of, you know, what you get when you buy these. I don't really know. I guess it depends on where you're on the world, but oh my God, it is everything that I hoped it would be. It is just the same as the Scandans, only it has, you know, a little bit more velvetiness going on. It does have a couple of leaves here that I do need to kind of, you know, chop off. I guess they just got kind of damaged on the way back, but I haven't really got around to it yet, admittedly. I've been very, very busy. So it will get a prune at some point, but until then, how amazing. <laughs> is this plant. Definitely one of my new favorites, 100%. So my next hanging plant that I'm about to haul, I'm actually gonna have to look up how to pronounce it because I do not know. Give me one moment. So my next plant that I'm hauling is the Ashenanthus mamaratus. I hope that's right. Let me just grab it. And this is the absolutely massive specimen that I bought. How amazing is this, please? You need to see the undersides of these leaves. I hope it comes off on camera. The, the back of the leaves, it's just something else. Now, when I first saw this, I actually thought this was a Hoya for some reason. I don't know, the structure is similar to a Hoya for me. The, the leaves aren't quite as um, waxy as a Hoya, but I did think it was somewhat similar. So I picked it up not necessarily knowing that, but I still love it all the same. It is very, very substantial. I just, I need somewhere good to hang this. Uh, I just don't necessarily have anywhere yet. But as I say, I'm moving house. I should be able to find somewhere. I just don't know what the options are. I'm gonna have to sit it on something awesome. If you have any care tips for this, by the way, actually including the Hoya, please do let me know because I, don't, I know nothing about Hoya and I know nothing about these. So if you know anything at all, just tell me down below. Maybe slightly irresponsible of me buying a plant that I don't necessarily know how to take care of, but I mean, so far it's been okay. I just give it a little, a little pokey. No, nah, it's mildly moist. It's okay. It's doing okay. So what was that? Ashen Ashenanthus mamoratus? Was it? Was it? What was it? Yeah. Ashenanthus mamoratus. I think another truly awesome, amazing hanging plant. And I guess as far as head tests go, this one is pretty, pretty large. So I'm going to pop this back now, but I actually don't think I can put it on the desk. It's a little bit too large. So I'm just going to try my hardest to put this back. Two minutes. Oh, oh, oh my God. Right. It's now just trailing down the bed, it's wonderful. So the next plant I picked up while I was in Holland was none other than the, the different back here reflector. And I know you guys have seen this on Instagram, quite possibly. I think that might have been what inspired the plant haul, I can't remember now. But yes, I may have picked up a couple of these while I was away, shall we say. Absolutely beautiful. Have you seen? Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. If you have not seen my wishlist video, this was also on my wishlist. Uh, not necessarily of this size. I would have been quite, you know, a lot happier with a smaller one. But when I saw it in this size, I couldn't really ignore it. So I picked one of these up. As I say, I picked more than one of these up. But it is absolutely wonderful. It is my second ever different back here. I do have a very, very small kind of plug size different back here camouflage that I'm still trying to grow out. It is growing out quite well, actually. It's growing pretty quickly. This one is also growing pretty quickly. There's new growth literally everywhere. It has shoots coming off the stems etc etc so it's doing really really well i'm really quite taken back with this i don't know if it looks as you know reflective uh, on this footage but literally i love that i'm just gonna put it back because there's no real oh there's no real space i don't know how it was originally sat so i apologize but it's not quite as you know central as it used to be Right, I think that is everything bar my last plant and I may have to move for this plant because this is the plant that has been on Instagram. You've seen a lot of different bits and pieces of this plant, I believe, over the last couple of weeks. And basically, I went to Holland and I bought a rather large variegated Monstera. And it is behind me right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm going to try my best to bring it to the forefront and kind of put it on this stool that I'm sat on. So you might not be able to see me, but we don't care, right? We care about the plant. So I'm going to move this higher just in case anything goes wrong. I tell you what, I'm going to take it out of its main um, basket because I think that's going to be easier because the basket's like way, way too big for that chair. So I will try and do a little sort of spinsy of the plant so you can actually see the variegation because it's got quite a bit. Um, it's got different types. There's, there is some sectoral variegation going on, which is variegation in chunks. Uh, a lot of it is speckled. I do have some more cuttings downstairs that are a lot more sectoral, i.e. You know, half the leaf is green, half the leaf is white. But generally speaking, this one is a little bit more... Do you... Would you call it speckled? I don't know. You can decide for yourself, but I'm now just going to try and spin it around the best I can. I'll try and move the stool back a little bit. Right, I'm going to spin it. <laughs> the best I can just so you can actually see the variegation this is the weirdest thing I've ever done by the way so as you can see it's pretty substantial to be honest I told you I would get a full plant not a cutting a full plant I told you it would happen believe dreams come true guys dreams come true oh my god can I just show you this one here I don't know if you caught that before oh my god should we do a head test since I'm basically next to it there we go <laughs> Literally every leaf is like, this is amazing. I don't know how tall this is. Um, I would say the moss pole was, it's definitely taller than a meter, maybe like one meter 30, I don't know. But the, the, the variegated monstera probably does come to round about a meter. It's really hard to tell. Oh my God, it's just so difficult to maneuver around it. Oh, now I've got everything on my stool. Soil everywhere. Here, have that back, have that back. So that concludes my plant haul from basically my Holland trip. I'm very, very sorry, but this week I cannot do plant pornography on the end of this video. And that is because due to reasons I think I should have already mentioned by now uh, via a life update video, I'm just very, very, very busy. And believe it or not, that little sexy like snipper of plants on the end probably takes, let me think, takes about an hour to film and about two hours to edit maybe just to get that little like two minute segment so this week I kind of don't have time to do that I don't even think I'm home right now as if you're watching this I think I'm actually visiting my parents up north so that does conclude my albeit a little bit brief plant haul um I, as I say I wasn't gonna film this but you guys said that you wanted me to <laughs> I just thought you guys were sick of plant hauls so I didn't bother I do actually get a lot of plants in pretty often to be honest but I just don't necessarily tell you guys about them all because honestly I don't really want to do a plant haul every week I'm sure you guys don't want to see a plant haul every week so I do just tend to leave it maybe if you're interested in a more you know collective plant haul where I just sit here and I spend 20 minutes going through like all the plants I've got in the past month or something like that if you're interested in that and you prefer that kind of format then do let me know because I'm pretty sure that's just as easy for me as it is for you so do let me know in the comments if that's something that you might like if you have any care tips on any of the plants I've mentioned, apart from the obvious, like variegated Monstera, the, the Mycans is fine for me. It's mainly the Hoya and the other plant that I've bought, I'm not really sure about. So if you have any tips on those, it'd be more than appreciated. So I will love you and leave you. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, then please leave a like. If you'd like to see any more of my content such as this, then please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps. Also, why not follow me on Instagram at Let's Whip My Plants. Yes, I know it's a very silly name. I made it one afternoon, I thought it was funny, now we're all stuck with it, so. And until next time, see you in the next video. Bye guys.